Hello, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us today. We've got a fun one because we also have a, a new product, right? Back to back is, weeks. Love is, it. Yes, which is awesome. Um, okay, so today, have you ever considered a detox, but wonder if it's safe, effective, where mean? to begin? Yes, there's so much information out there. If you've ever done a Google search on like how to detox, I mean, everything comes up in every which way. So it's very, very confusing. So we want to today, we kind of want to weed through it all and um, focus on the main points of how to really detox in a healthy way. So we're really going to cover how the body detoxes because we are detoxers, uh, why we need to detox, how to avoid detox diets um, and just detox naturally, maybe give ourselves a little support. And then our newest product, Live Goods, Chlorella and Zeolite Detox. So we'll go over all of that towards the end. So always how we do these, um, if you have questions, please, please write them in because we will address them all at the end. Um, we also love comments. Yep. So if you have a comment, leave it. If you're your first timer here, you can put number one to the comments. Welcome. We love having you guys and all of our repeat, guys, repeat uh, viewers. Love having you guys here. Thank you for always joining and supporting us. We love your feedback and your constant support. Um, yeah, so make yeah, sure you sure like, do. subscribe to our channel. That way you don't miss any of these. And you can con continue to look back at the old ones um, and you'll never miss a new one because we do do these weekly, right? Yeah, absolutely. Let's right. jump in. Okay, awesome. So how the body detoxes. Like I said, we're, we're detoxers. The, the body is constantly detoxing all the time. Um, there's several organ systems that you know partake in our detoxing. Liver, kidney, skin, digestive system. I mean, each one has a specific detox process. Yeah. And shocker, as we age, they're less efficient. Yes. As is, shocker. As is everything. Yeah, sucks. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> Unfortunately. Um, so the biggest thing is like, we want to um, break down these toxins, bind these toxins and excrete the toxins in our sweat, urine and, and feces. So that is also why you always hear like to detox sweat, sweat, sweat. Very important. Don't worry about, don't um, forget about breath too. Breath's got breath, some really true. important stuff. True. Yes. Talk about it. So what? We'll talk about okay. it. We'll talk about some of the Go breathing ahead. techniques and things you can do. I'm just saying like breath in addition to gotcha. urine, feces, sweat. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, that's just basically it. Again, our bodies are natural detoxers. Um, our, our organ systems are designed to detox. They're all, there are three different pathways. We're not going to go into detail there, but the biggest thing is, is again, breaking our body, breaking down those toxins, um, binding of the toxins. So then it can be eliminated, excreted. Um, and that happens if our body is healthy and functioning properly. Mm -hmm. So, and has, oh, can I go on a tangent? Go. <laughs> so, I didn't even make a note. I totally forgot about this, but we're like so much of what detoxing is begins with enzymes and yeah. enzyme pathways. So, what you were just about to say, like giving our bodies the thing, things that it needs, it needs to be able to manufacture enzymes. As the same kind of thing we've talked about with. When we talk about amino acids and how important protein is, because guys, those are the building blocks of our enzymes. Yep. And there are multiple pathways, of course, in the liver, but there's other parts of the bodies that, that are constantly working to detox. It's, look at even just our skin, right? Just our own mouth, our oral biome, our microbiome, and our gut. You know, there's multiple organs involved in detoxification, but enzymes, enzymes, enzymes. So just like neurotransmitters and hormones and all the other things, yes, we need our amino acids, therefore, we need our protein. Right. And yep. genetically, some of us don't have those enzymes sure. too. So, I mean, that's always something you can do with a genetic test. Um, but unfortunately, it just really makes it so we're, we're not really, I think it's phase two it really interferes with. Like we're really not binding. So if you're not binding, you're not excreting, right? So it stops there. Phase one and then stops. So um, always good to know because I, I know that I'm a poor detoxer. So um, I've always been aware and taken supplements to help support my phase two um, detox system. So important to know this stuff. Again, the more you know about your body, the better you can take care of it. And you can do a, a genetic test. Pharmacogenomics can actually tell you what type of metabolizer it can show you. It looks at your cytochrome P450. That's the enzyme, the predominant enzyme system in the liver. And we'll talk about the liver. You cannot have a conversation about detox and not talk about liver. So sure. we'll, we will talk about liver a little bit, but you can do that. Like I know, for instance, I'm a slow metabolizer of caffeine. Therefore, caffeine after 11 a.m. is a problem for me. And I don't need a lot of caffeine. So it's an interesting thing. And it, it, it would be helpful information for those of you out there that want to know that stuff. Right. Yeah. And it also, you know, when you when you research this stuff, it, uh, it talks a lot about alcohol. So you'll see why some people might, they, when consuming the same of, amount of alcohol, some people might get 
drunk while others don't, it has to do with the enzymes it and does. Our, our, our ability to detox. And that's an interesting one too. It's a good example, just to give you guys an example of how that works. So like for people that are chronic alcohol drinkers, consumers, the enzymes in the liver there actually are induced. So it's called enzyme induction. Your body will make more enzymes for to improve the metabolism of the alcohol. So therefore that's tolerance. So you go from having two drinks, you drink two drinks every day, next thing it's three drinks, four drinks, five drinks, six drinks, not even buzzed. This is the problem, right? And this is an issue. So, and of course the size of your liver increases, it stores things and it gets fatty liver and it leads to eventually bad things like hepatitis, but sure. none of this. That's kind of the idea of the enzyme. It's there to break down, but it's also competing. Things compete with the enzymes. So you gotta be real careful with it. You know, you need to be pretty aware of the things like that and, and how to reduce the toxin load. Like if you're taking Tylenol and alcohol, you're competing for uh, competing for en enzymatic degradation. So, mm -hmm. you know, you're gonna end up not feeling your best because you have some more of that acetaldehyde building up. That's a good example because alcohol is such an enzyme heavy breakdown process and it's right. pretty toxic. Um, so why we gotta be super careful about that as well. But yeah. it's like that for a lot of environmental toxins. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Um, for sure. So again, we're detoxers. So why do we need to support our detox pathways? I mean, when in good health, like I said, our, bo our body's ability to filter and eliminate toxins is, is great. It's maintained as long as our organ systems are doing what they're supposed to do, like things we're detoxing properly. But unfortunately, we're not, most of us are not healthy. Like we've, we've made that very clear. Yeah. Um, and also we're, we live in a toxic world. So, I mean, even if you are doing everything that you can control. There are so many toxins out there that we cannot control. I mean, from, you know, our, what we drink to the air we breathe to the materials we come in contact. I mean, you mm -hmm. might be able to control your little bubble of your home, but like we're not sitting in our homes 24 seven. We're in, we're in shopping sure. areas. We're in grocery stores. We're in other people's homes. I mean, you're stuck you, in traffic, right? Yeah. Right. All that stuff. Your windows mm -hmm. are down. I mean, we're, we're getting toxins every single day, 24 seven, no matter how careful we are. So we have to be extra careful to not overdo that toxic burden, right? And then we, then we become sick. Um, so our toxic lifestyle leads to the toxic overload. Um, and again, when, we, when that happens, our bodies cannot remove the toxins, then we get sick. Mm -hmm. So many different kinds of things that um, we feel when, when we can have that toxic overload. I mean, allergies, food intolerances, digestive issues, bloating, gas, skin problems, acne, hormonal issues, a brain fog, consistent weight gain. I mean, the list goes on. It does. There's so many things so that many you're wondering things. what's wrong with me. And it might just be like, you're not, you're full of toxins. Um, so it's important to, you know, support our system. Um, so we, we talk about how to avoid detox diets and detox naturally, because there are so many detox diets and cleanses and whatnot out there on the market. And there's not much, um, there's very little studies and the studies have been small or flawed. So they might be present, but I mean, they're not really accurate studies. Um, a lot of things that these detox diets can do, I mean, they can lead to fuller dehydration. They're depleting your body of, of nutrients. You, know, you get metabolic acidosis. Um, what are some other things that happen? Oh, a lot of times, like say you're doing um, and any kind, cleanse, fat, a long-term fast, and you're trying, your goal is to remove the toxins. So what happens? Um, during those really where you're not consuming foods um, or much at all. So maybe like that liquid diet or the, the, um, the juices the juice for, that you do for seven days, you have fast fat loss. If you've ever done one, you'll, you'll notice that you, you lose weight pretty quick. I know a lot of it's water weight, but what's happening too is your, your fat is breaking down very fast. And where are toxins store, Brian? <laughs> <laughs> Your fat, <laughs> toxins for the most part. Yeah, it's fat soluble. Predominantly, fat, fat yeah, stores a lot of it. Yeah, yeah, predominantly toxins are stored in our fat cells. So think about it: is if you had this quick fat loss, you also had this quick release of or a, a big release of toxins. Now these toxins are circulating in our bloodstream, where we definitely don't want them. And and, and yes, our natural detox systems are there, but it's too much. We don't have an, enough. It's not good enough to bind to all of these toxins and excrete them. So then they're left circulating in our bloodstream. So you need to be careful with that. I, I'm really not a proponent of it. Um, maybe a short-term one, you know, a, a, a day, you know, you do a lot of flushing out for juices or just water. But again, the, the long-term ones, this can have detrimental effects on our toxic burden, again, where we're not able to properly eliminate, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So, um, 
yeah, what are other ways to detox? Actually, what let's talk about ways to detox naturally. So we talked about some, we talked about sweating, right. really. I'm breathing, you talked about, we're gonna, you can go into that in a second. But exercising regularly. Sure. That also does two of the things that we just talked about, right. the sweating and the breathing. Um, Increases blood perfusion too, right? So higher heart rate, higher blood flow. Right. Yep, everything. More more hepatic circulation through your liver, faster filtration basically increased through your kidney. There's a lot of things happening under exercise. Right. You know? So like when we tell you to exercise and move your body, like we're not, not just talking about for your physique, right? right? Yeah, There's not always, for sure. It's so important in so many other ways. And just think of like your physique and your is is a bonus, right? But really what it's doing internally is so much better for you. Um, what else? Getting enough sleep. sleep sure. Staying properly hydrated. Yeah. Um, the sauna, which is great for the sweat. Uh, limit or avoid alcohol. Avoid smoking. Avoid eating processed foods. Um, you said breathing and breath or increase urine output. That also comes with properly hydrated, yeah. right? We get, I mean, these all work together. Um, we said sleep. Which one am I forgetting? Oh, and obviously supplements. Just things that can that can support our system. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm not ta necessarily talking about, and we'll get into this guy, but I'm not necessarily talking about like the, the strong um, detox supplements uh, that actually can also bind to other things. Well, nor, nor are you talking about liver support, which is something in our future. So sure. there's a lot of things that can support the liver and the right. met metabolic pathway. So that's not what we're talking about today, but that is something for the future as well. Hydration is an important one, but like I always love this saying. So the solution to pollution is, is um, dilution. Okay. So that's a fun one, right? It's cute. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, talk about the breath work. Uh, no, I, I, it's not anything specific. So I don't want to give exact specific like things on breath work, but like you can look at Wim Hof method. You can look at different meditative practices, different trends. Like there's ways to improve the breath and the respiration. And you actually do uh, breathe out metabolites. And there are, it, it, it's a real thing. So Look up, you can look up even if you want to just look up the Wim Hof, but you can do like an aggressive inhale and then a natural exhale. Aggressive inhale, natural exhale. Like there's just different breath and there's different patterns, you know, like there's, there's the, um, but anyway, from a free diving perspective, there's the, you can work on your CO2 or your O2 pathways. And it, it does a lot for the oxygenation and the, uh, the detox of through breath. Right. It's effective. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, and it's good for the brain and then many other things. So start doing it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and also the, you know, these are, they easy um, things that can be done on a daily basis that also have other health benefits. Battery saver. So what? So the battery saver is on. I'll be right back. I got to plug in. Oh, okay. Um, okay. So we talked about, um, so impaired detox side effects. I, I went through and named some of these, but again, if you um, have a toxic burden and you're not detoxing properly, you might have allergies food intolerances or those food sensitivities, digestive issues we talked about, skin problems, acne. Um, you know, a lot of times if, you know, someone talks about acne, we think it's all hormonal. It's not necessarily always hormonal, right? Our, our skin is our, our biggest detox organ. You got it? Yep. Um, so a lot of times, you know, the toxins are trying to come out and like, you know, we get acne and skin problems, the weight gain, the brain fog, so we have to look at all aspects of this. And, you know, you can't just, like Ryan was talking about too, with like meaning the amino acids and our protein, like you actually have to cover all your bases. And that's a lot of us, like if you haven't, if you have never checked out our website too, this is your first time joining, but you'll see like we have so many different things on there and they really are designed to do it. Be taken, most of them designed to be taken every day because each thing supports something in your body, right? These are not medications. Um, these are nutritional supplements, right? They, they really help supplement a healthy diet to, you know, keep our body its healthiest. Yeah. But there are medications though, right? Like if you actually had a true like overload of, of toxins, like say heavy metal poisoning, you know, of course there's prescription hospital will put you on some heavy chelation therapy, right, bind right. everything they can, yep. get it out of your system. There's chelation IVs. Yeah. And chelation stuff like IVs that. Yeah. and different ways to do that. So that's one particular way. That's not what we're talking about today, right. of course. Right. Um, I mean, that's obviously if you go and you get your blood tested and you have like these crazy high I'm, levels yeah. of metals, yeah. I mean, mold, whatever it is, you know, to go and do chelation therapy to really help draw these out. And because the reason you don't want to do those just because or take, you know, chelation um, pills or because they, they are taking, they're taking all your minerals as well. Right. So it is. 
it, it, it take it doesn't discriminate what it's gonna gonna bind to and take away, but you need to do that. So it's just not something you want to do on a regular basis. Okay. Same thing with like charcoal. Charcoal can sure. bind but to you'll, you'll, healthy stuff. You'll also hear us talk today about absorbent and absorbent properties of zeolite, which is in our detox product. So we'll talk about that okay. as well. Yeah. Well, well, while we're going there. Well, I wanted to so we talked about the drug, the drug therapy if you had high burden and you knew yeah. it and you were diagnosed with something or it was a poisoning or something that happened. We talked about the cleanses in the fast, like the ways to, to do that and how we don't really support that. That's not something that we're really behind. Um, but there's also other types of detoxes. When you hear the word detox, things come to mind. There's actually this new kind of concept of a dopamine detox. Oh, yeah. You know, we're constantly firing on releasing dopamine. It's the feel good, the reward center of the brain. That's happening for all different reasons. Substance abuse, of course, is one. There's a lot of reliance on drugs now, like, you know, the amphetamines and different different meds for that. But um, social media is another one. There's actually a whole process now where you can detox off social media. I mean, you can just imagine the different ways that we're just getting so over, you know, inundated by substance. Um, yeah, I mean, just call it substance, whether it's digital, whether it's real, whether it's chemical, whatever, right? Right. So, um, but I, I, I don't know. That's I just want to kind of talk about that real quick. The word detox just kind of conjures up different thoughts for different people. Yeah. And before we go into our product too, let's talk about like methods uh, of detoxing or like where where a lot of our toxins lie in our environment. So some methods of detox are obviously avoiding sure. of toxins. But I mean, like I already talked about, unless you're living in a bubble, that's next to impossible. Um, but we eliminate as much as we can. So you need to be aware of where they reside. Um, watch for molds. Um, we talk about our coffee. Hard and to why, do. Yeah, coffee is a good example. Why, you know, you really need to be... Mycotoxins. Right. You really need to be purchasing organic mm -hmm. coffee and know yep. your source because, you know, there's certain um, certain things that are prevalent for mold. I mean, even yep. like the peanut, mm -hmm. um, pistachios. You know, so you just have to be careful with the things that, that you're putting into your body. Um, but also we talk about environmental molds. I mean, we live in South Florida. Our environment is extremely hot and humid. Um, we've had mold problems at our home. I've talked about my issue um, and how it's taken me a couple years to, to rid the mold of my body. But again, this is a home that Ryan's in as well, as well as my, my children, but it affected me. I, my body didn't detox properly. So... Um, funny, funny question from Terry G here, but it's not funny. It's will this help me be? Will this help me detox to remove smelly armpit? Terry, that's actually yes. That's a yes on that. So you'll read about, uh, you'll read about chlorophyll and zeolite used. Um, zeolite too is as as a deodorizer. Right. Yeah, big time. Um, metals and fish are are water yeah, another one. polluted. I mean, our fish yep. are carrying watch, more metals. Watch for the big open pelagic fish. Yeah, you know, your tunas, your mackerels, swordfish. Some of the deep water bottom fish or tile fish and can just, be high in PCBs as well, right. polychlorinated biphenyls. Like there's a lot of stuff that you need to be aware of. Even if you're eating a lot of snapper or white fish, you still need to be aware. Right. Where we used to be told that it was okay. Now yeah. it's like you can't, you shouldn't be eating uh, those. When you eat your anchovies and your sardines. Right. Unfortunately. Yeah, they're not as tasty. <laughs> right. It's my least a favorite, but I know how important it is. Um what else? I mean, we talked about the organic coffee, but also like the organic foods and the uh, um, glyphosates. I mean, very, very big toxins. The air we breathe, the yeah. water we drink. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. everything is just m becoming more and more toxic in our world. And we're only getting older. So we're becoming less, yeah, more less detoxers. Exactly. Less able to get rid of it. And, and we're getting more exposure. So over time, it builds, right? right? That's another That's another thing about toxin overload. It sucks. Is It does just build. Yes. It accumulates. All right. So, all right. Cool. Let's go to the shining star. Okay. So we have our newest product launch, which is very exciting. Awesome. We did have two launches back to back. Mm -hmm. But this is our chlorophyll and zeolite detox. Um, so because... Dr. Ryan is our formulator. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let him dive in about it. And I'm just going to kind of give you a look on what it looks like because I think it's so pretty in the water. <laughs> so a serving would be two. There we go. Okay. So um, first off, before I start, I'm just going to give this wonderful news. This is for members $14.95, for non-members $19.95. I mean, absolutely crazy, ridiculous price of something that is so healthy and beneficial to us. Um, I smell it. Yes, someone actually natural. asked a question about it. And I was trying to think of how to describe the taste. 
I mean, it has this natural earthy taste. Natural nothing earthy, is, a little sweet. Nothing is overpowering. Um, and to be honest, I found my new favorite combination is our hydration amplifier mm -hmm. mixed with two squirts in the morning. I just love the flavor combination of it too. I don't know. It really balances it all out to me. And mm, yeah, I like it. So for sure. So chlorophyll, as we all probably know from science class, if you remember, chlorophyll is the, the green pigment, right? It's involved. It's the pigment in plants that conduct photosynthesis. It's actually related to the heme in our blood cells because they're blood the red color. But yeah, um, powerful stuff. I mean, it is a powerful plant compound. A lot of benefits to it. Can you increase the oxygenation? It helps with detox pathways. It can help with binding. It can help with these unique issues. But chlorophyll has very little like side effect issues. It's very well tolerated. It's very safe. Um, and obviously, we're not consuming enough. So. Great addition to our detox product. He, the, I think the, I think the star player. I love chlorophyll, but I think the star is the zeolite. If you watch some of these companies now, there's big companies dedicated to sort of detox. What, what's the one? I, we don't have to talk about the name. They are using zeolite in everything oh, they yeah. recommend, and zeolite's kind of cool. It's got a 3D structure. It has a lot of adsorption and absorption properties. So there's two differences there. But basically, due to their the unique porous structure of the zeolite, it's a naturally occurring compound. Uh, Synepatetolite, something I, have, I may have pronounced that wrong. I have to look at the spelling again. It, it, it is a natural um, zeolite. There's a bunch of zeolites out there. I think there's like 100 and maybe there's like 140, 150 natural. Then there's a bunch of synthetic zeolites. We use the natural form and um, it's well studied. It is actually really well studied. Cuba is a place where you can harvest um, zeo, zeolite and they have two different drugs. They were used as anti diarrheal and an antacid. Um, due to some of the neutralizing properties and the absorption properties of it. So, um, yeah, very absorbed, very, very interesting. But in those studies along their drug development pathways, it was shown to specifically bind to some of these protozoas, which are, you know, the, the things that are often responsible for like diarrheal infections, like big time diarrhea. So that's what they really were really looking at. Certain, uh, of course, toxins, of course, metals, specifically lead, binds to really easily and readily. Uh, we talked about okra toxin, which is a big, big one in um, coffee, and of course, organophosphate. So, you know, those chemical compounds we talk about in, in pesticides, herbicides, fertilizers, right. um, very, very, very well known for, for uh, absorbing to those, adsorbing to those, and of course, can in increase the, uh, the excretion, right, out, out through the feces usually. So, um, they don't absorb very well. This is not like a blood detox. Um, of course, through the body works, the, the way it works in homeostasis and the way that the liver is always trying to do, the liver is detecting obviously many, many, many compounds all at all times of the day. And it just simply, simply wants to get rid of it. It wants to break it down into something that's more soluble, more water soluble so the kidney can eliminate it. So it's always trying to break it down and reduce it down into a way that, it, that the kidney can easily process. So if there's some level of metal in the blood and the body's trying to get it moved out, there's different things that it's doing to where it will eventually get excreted as long as you're not constantly adding to it. Right. But it's the gut lining, it's the gut health, it's the GI tract, it means those areas, if you're drinking, if you're eating highly processed foods, if you've just had a binger of something, whatever it is, you can use this product to help you support those things along the way. It is not, it, it's indiscriminatory, so it doesn't necessarily know what it's doing, but the cool thing is the science behind zeolite has been demonstrated to not negatively impact or microbiome in any way. And um, it actually has been shown to benefit it. So so can it be taken like with other vitamins? Yeah, it doesn't alter or? the pH. And the, the, the issue, there's your issue though. Your issue is, well, what about the other vitamins and minerals? That's right. why I said like, let's avoid magnesium because magnesium has a tendency to chelate or to bind and compete right. for absorption sites. But that's the case for other stuff too. So it could be trying to bind to some of our trace minerals as well. So yeah, I mean, I, ideally we don't want to take it together with anything, but that's not always going to be possible. So I like to say on an empty stomach right before bed, right? So like here would be my best case scenario. You would go, you would you would eat dinner two hours prior to bedtime. Mm -hmm. One hour later, you're going to take your magnesium. And then right before bed, you're dropping it in under the tongue or in the mouth. I know it's hard to brush out the green, but you got to tongue scrape, whatever you got to do, get it off the tongue, get it out of the mouth, clean your mouth, go to bed, wake up, and then you can use it again first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. Uh, if you're taking like medicines like Synthroid, I would definitely, definitely not mess with it in the morning along your Synthroid or your, your thyroid medications. Gotcha. I think methotrexate's another one. It's um, one that you'd want to avoid. I can, I, there's not many. Zeolite, it's pretty well tolerated. Chlorophyll for sure is well tolerated. But yeah, I mean, you can look it up. You can Google it. I can also help you along the way. I have access to, you know, 
drug databases that can tell us about drug interactions right. as we well. We were talking about this morning that you know, they, the zeolite in our, is being used in our water. To yeah, help it's used, the yeah, exactly. It's used in our water purification systems. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So it's super, I mean, it's great. It's exciting. It's fun. I mean, it's a neat idea. It's a great concept. And I think it's di from a dietary, it's, it's no different than just di having decent dietary habits. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Yep. I mean, and like Ryan had mentioned, you know, we have the chlorella, the high in iron, B12. I mean, it's, it is touted as a superfood, right? Superfood is just a term oh, sure. there to describe something that's very nutrient dense. Yep. Yep. Um, it has your omegas, it has all nine essential yep. amino acids. Yep. Um, and also, you know, you mentioned about the increasing oxygen saturation. So mm -hmm. I've always used chlorella when I was going to travel. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, we're using it for travel. I meant definitely. chlorophyll, sorry. I keep yeah, 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 chlorella. But, chlorella. Um, we use it for travel. Because, well, like when you're going, like if you're going out west, going to altitude, that was when I was always loading up to help with the oxygen. Absolutely. I mean, no, it's well documented for that reason. Altitude sickness, definitely. Absolutely. Yeah. So many benefits, guys. So I hope you guys got a lot out of this today. I was just kind of cruising down here. I haven't seen many really, really a lot of questions. So a lot more to some. do with, um, oh, go ahead. Um, well, I know one of them was age. So what, what I want to tell you guys when it comes to age, and I hate having to really say this, but it goes the same for like, if you're a minor, so under 18, if you're pregnant, breastfeeding, I mean, we have to say, Please discuss this with either your child's pediatrician or your, your OBGYN. Um, but we feel that this is safe. I mean, personally, for our children, we let them have it. Obviously, they don't need high, as high of a dose. Um, but I mean, their exposure to toxins is similar to what we do. I would say even worse because there's so many things that I don't, I'm not there to control what goes into my children's mouth. Like if they get something at school, which pains me because I don't, you know, I, I, we packed our lunches, but you, you just, you know. Their, their exposure is pretty high. Sure. sure. Um, so, yeah. So, I have the age one. We kind of tried to describe the taste. I did have the taste question. Um, it does, how Ryan mentioned the green, it does, whoops, excuse me, it does stain. Uh, not like a methylene blue. Mm -hmm. um, it brushes out of your mouth pretty easily. But, like, if you get it on the counter, you want to wipe it up right away. You know, we have a wood cutting board, so there's a couple green spots on it. <laughs> just from us leaving it there, you know, not paying too much attention. So you just want to be careful. And I saw the question on there about the serving. Yes, it's it's on um, the website as well on the label. But two squirts is a, a serving. So, you know, you could do first thing in the morning and first thing yeah, you go that, to bed. Yeah, that, that two to four dropper fulls. It, it is marked. There, There is – the dropper is marked, but you can't see it because it's, it's dark, dark, dark yeah. green. So, yeah, two to four um, – that, and you know that's I would use four. I'm doing two in the morning, two in the evening. Right. And if you don't want to, if, if you're if you have you if you're super clean and you feel like you just don't need, you don't have to use it every single day. You just kind of use it as as you believe there's exposures. Maybe you went out for sushi. That would be right. a great time. Right. But there's also like think about it. Any time that you're eating out, guys, unfortunately, you're you're getting some type of toxins in you. Like it's impossible. Mm -hmm. Um. Even if it's from our, you know, the the seed oils that that are used, um, and, and at high heat and stuff. So if you're someone that eats out regularly, guys, I mean, I highly recommend using this on a regular basis. Um, I mean, I prefer I use it every night. That's that's my my program. Um, another question, just lost it. Oh, does it does it make you go to the bathroom? No, there's no known, mm -mm. no obvious side effects or anything that goes on with it. So really easy, easy addition and beneficial. But addition. I did tell, you, did tell you the zeolite was studied and used as a drug in, in Cuba for as an anti-diarrheal and um, an acid. Okay. So, so could help if something negative help was going on. Yeah, it could help if you, yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I think that was kind of it. Just some of the questions that I didn't answer yet through my email. Um, but again, guys, check out our website, livegood.com. Um, you know, you'll, you'll see it on there. You can read more about it. Any so, on there? yeah, there's a couple, we can just cover it again. Cause I thought it was important, but, uh, Brooke just said, she just joined, she said, can you take, can, can the kid, can the kids take it currently okay. taking the touchstone essentials? First of all, the kids multivitamin gummy is you that we have you that live good has USDA certified organic. That is the gummy you should absolutely be using. It is an amazing gummy, uh, better than anything I've seen on the market. But, and yes, um, like Lisa and I just kind of said, we, in full disclosure, for liability reasons, can't tell you to have kids under minors or pregnant and breastfeeding people take it. So consult with your pediatrician. Right. Our children, of course, will use chlorophyll and zeolite. They've been using it and they're just fine. So cool. 
Um, All right, awesome. Yeah, someone's just saying, will it help with eczema? I mean, this if, if yeah, the skin irritation yeah. is the cause of toxins, sure. but there's other causes of of eczema. It could be you know autoimmune issues going on, um, but you know, regardless, if you have something going on, it's worth addressing your toxins. I mean, oh, again, yeah. we're we're, yeah, we're yeah. toxic individuals, so yeah. it. it, it it, you don't get hurt, right? Like it's just right. another awesome little tool to have, you right. know, in your chest that can, right. from a dietary perspective, guys. Right. Ryan talked so. about the cleansing of the blood, um, blood pressure medication. You would said it, really it's only the thyroid one that you're concerned mm -hmm. with. I'd be concerned with thyroid and methotrexate. Right. We had uh, what's up? What? Okay. Besides other supplements, what other supplements can you take this with? Is that what well, saying? yeah, and I get that it's confusing. I only I give you guys these pro tips just as a way to like say like if you really want to dial it in as best as possible, but you don't right. have to be so strict about it. Like, I mean, I'm telling you, when I take mine, I probably take my magnesium 20 minutes later. I, mean, I don't right. have much time it, it, between it, when I start my be bedtime routine and when I hit the sack. So you, you can just do the best you can. It's not like one cancels it out completely. Just right. do the best you can. Right, right. All okay. Right. All right. All right awesome. you know, any other questions, guys? You always have my email, Lisa livegood.com. Thank you so much for joining us today. And make sure you check out our newest product, Detox Chlorophyll and Zeolite at livegood.com. Like, subscribe, follow us, comment. We love it all and appreciate you. And until next Monday. Yeah. See you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.